going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great Thursday. I'm Bobby Fye here for my five plays in five minutes. Um, obviously going to get into a lot more detail than that, but I uh, just wanted to uh, to tell everybody uh, you can go ahead and see all my plays, all my exact ownerships of the players, all of my bets of the day, all of my, uh, you know, the, the plays I liked uh, and uh, everything is all up on true DFS as is sheets is sheets, which have been crushing in every sport, the league of legends, the, the NASCAR golf baseball, he's just on fire and has a really unique algorithm that he built that I think is really incredible for DFS. And, I suggest you guys try it while it's still free. It's free for a month. We also have our Discord still free, which I'll link in the chat, but go to trudyfs.com and you can sign up for free right now. With that said, let's get into some plays of the day. Um, the stacks I'm using, I'll, I'll just get that out the way. I, I like Cleveland, Texas, um, for Texas for value on DraftKings. I like Boston. Those are the obvious ones. I want to get different with playing Philly and San Francisco, and I will play some Dodgers as well as Seattle but mostly uh, the Cleveland, Texas game, I really want to hyper-focus in on as well as Boston. And there are ways to stack where you can get off the board for Cleveland. You play guys like Yu Chang, you play guys like Daniel Johnson. Uh, for Texas, you can play, you know, Peters, who you no know, one plays. Um, you also have, a, he was, you know, actually been hitting the ball pretty well. Um, you have Dallas Garcia at 3,100. Um, those are, those are the guys, but some one-offs that are a little bit outside of that, uh, I want to start off with Trey Turner um, against in a tough matchup. Obviously, I, I don't I don't have many Dodger stacks tonight, but I do like Turner and a couple of one offs. I think that there's an excellent stolen base opportunity going against Darvish, and I would be very surprised if he gets on if he doesn't steal. I also think he has power upside, and I think the Dodgers have a chance to get to be a little like, like a sneaky mini stack team. But Trey Turner is clearly the best play to me, um, just with the stolen base upside. The speed is, I, I almost feel like it's automatic that he'll steal a base if he somehow just gets on first. Uh, getting on second, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't steal third. Um, but I do expect him to at least take off and I get him I st steal at least one bag tonight. Um, another play that's going to be way off the board. Uh, everybody's into this Eliza Hernandez. I get it. The kid's really talented. I buy it. The lineup is not scary in Washington. I still feel hesitant to use him myself, and I am going to be playing some Juan Soto as a spend up that people won't get to. Uh, I could sit here and just talk about uh, Devers and, and Jose Ramirez, who are also awesome plays and to spend up for, but I think Soto is the one I want to side with um, as, a, as an outfield spend up that, that I just don't see anybody using. It's hard for, it's hard, even saying that, it's harder for me to get him in than I thought it was going to be because the way I'm building, spending down more in the outfield, but I do think that uh, trying to prioritize him a little bit is good. I also love Josh Donaldson against Chris Sale. I think he's too cheap at 3,300. I think there's power upside there. Sale hasn't quite been the same as it's given up some Hard contact is around the plate and Donaldson can absolutely, you know, pop one off of them. So I love Donaldson as a little bit of an off the board play. I mentioned, I mentioned Peters, but I'm just going to say again, since he's joined the Rangers, he's got the most RBIs and home runs on the team. He's still minimum cost on DraftKings. I think he fits in well as, as a fourth hitter. You got the, you know, the platoon advantage against Henkes uh, today. So I really like Peters and uh, Dolas Garcia at both. I think that Dolas gets some ownership. I don't think Peters gets much. So I really am a huge fan of, uh, Peters in that matchup. Uh, another one that's maybe not off the board, but I don't know how many people are going to go to is Mitch Hanniger um, as a one-off or as a part of a stack, but I really like him. His price is higher on FanDuel. I don't mind playing him over there though. Um, I think he's got a terrific chance at hitting one out off of Keller. And I think he's a terrific play all around tonight. I think that he, you really want to try to try to find some guys who are going to be a little bit off the board and he's definitely one of them. I love Brandon Belt tonight. I think Brandon Belt and, and the Giants in general, uh, more of a mini stack for me as, again, Dickerson, Belt, Wade, um, and Yastrzemski being my favorites with Posey there. If he's catching tonight, those guys and Chris Bryant, of course, um, they all make sense, but I'm sort of using them more as three men. I like the lefties better, and Brandon Belt is my favorite one. I think he has a good chance of taking one deep tonight, potentially two. He did it the other night. Uh, love uh, love Belt and uh, like his mid-tier mid price on, on DK. Um Going to mention one more, and uh, that's going to come. <laughs> that's going to come as a, a kind of a weird other other spend up. If you're, you know, again, I'm spending mostly down in the outfield, but I am prioritizing making sure to get some of these guys in. And that's Bryce Harper against Gallon and an awful bullpen. I really think there's a chance. Like, if you have the slate to play out a bunch of times, if you get to Gallon, that bullpen behind him is so horrible. And I think the Phillies could really, really smash today. I like Didi also. Um, but I think Bryce Harper has an excellent shot also at taking at least one deep tonight. Um, so he's my other spend up play just because I've named some spend ups. I will talk about another 
spend down. Um, I mentioned Chang and Daniel Johnson, both with some power at the bottom of the order for Cleveland. I mentioned Peters. I mentioned Garcia. I sort of am going more than my five here. But I think that there are other guys we can use also uh, that are cheap that might get overlooked. I know Fraley is going to be fairly popular, but I think he's a really good option in that matchup against Keller, even though I don't mind using a little bit of Keller. And, uh, you know, just, just talking through some of the other values, I'm just looking at my sheet right here of who I've got listed as value plays. Uh, Zimmer, Pozo, um, Lewis Brinson won't get ownership today, and he's going to the lefty-righty matchup. has actually been pretty good this year. Uh, I think Miles Straw will be popular. I prefer to go to these other guys with a little more power. I think Straw's got great stolen base upside, though, uh, in every matchup, and maybe not so much against the lefty, but, it, you know, that's only going to be for a few innings anyway, probably. Um, so those are the guys who I'm using. Uh, Newt Barr will be the last one who I think is uh, near minimum on both sites, and I think that he's a, a solid option, although I'm less high on the stacking against Keller as most people and may even include Keller in my pitcher pool because there's a bunch of other things. My main pitchers are going to be Scherzer and Sale on DraftKings. No shocker there. On FanDuel, I do have a little different ownership. Um, I have Scherzer you know, at about 40%, 65% on, on DK. This is all on my ownership things. But I'm getting some, uh, some wood over there, which makes I think he'll be popular. I don't think people are going to play Carrasco. And I love Carrasco 5,900. I, I, I do like the Giants, but I think there's a chance we see Carrasco starting to find and figure it out. He pitched well against the Dodgers last time out, and I could see him having a solid out. And at 5,900, he really does give you a chance to build a unique lineup. Um, Miles Mikolas would be the other guy I'd be using on FanDuel, and I have a tiny bit of sale, but mostly it's going to be fading sale and only using him just to get one difference off of Scherzer. I'll probably have him in one lineup over there. Um, but I think Patrick Corbin is another one who I wouldn't mind using on both sites, and certainly something I'm considering. Um, just we, We've just seen how bad this Miami team is, and Corbin finally started to look like himself. You could do the uh, the Corbin, you know, and maybe they find their old glory, uh, Corbin and, and uh, Carrasco, which is not going to be a popular combination. And I think it's kind of an interesting route to go um, on this slate if you want to get different at pitching because Scherzer's matchup is tough. Sale is not quite fully back yet and is pitching in Boston. So these are the reasons why I think you can try and find some other spots. Although overall, I do plan on having Scherzer in between both sites more than half of my lineups. Um, I just think he's significantly better upside and safety wise than all the pitchers, even in a tough matchup. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday about Bueller, uh, Bueller was, was the nuts, you know, or not the nuts, uh, the nuts was Robbie Ray, but that's because he just went completely nuts. Um, but we wanna try and uh, not be too scared off of matchups when you have truly elite pitchers. Um, even though there is some pause for concern. All right, guys. Well, good luck to everybody. Check out TrueDS.com. Me and Sheets will be going live at 6 Eastern, and let's crush it today. Good luck, all.